What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay, Mr. Nobody in the Flesh himself, and I'm back with another amazing video for you. Now today I'm going to be opening up some pro packs because Madden released some football outsider cards. Now today's cards are Hassan, <laughs> said Hassan, Hassan Abdullah, Doug Free, CJ Mosley, Xavier Rhodes, and the 24 hour Reggie Wayne. So we're going to go ahead and head into these packs. Now, I was doing a live com with this and I did it. And at the end of the video, the audio got corrupted. So I had to go back and I do apologize. It was my fault. But now I have to go back and I'm not going to fake it. When I do see the cards that I do pull, you're going to get a lesser reaction, but you will get some real reaction you won't get none of those fake oh my god yeah whoa! you're not gonna get none of that because i mean it's not real it's not authentic so you're gonna get my real or a lesser real reaction so anyway i did pull a julio jones the last time they did the 24 hour and i was on a mission i'm like yo can your boy jake get that reggie wayne but i did in right now though look at that car that cameron wayne now this is real because I was pretty freaking excited um, to see this card because my luck this year when it came to pulling elites and pulling different types of cards have been pretty good. And come to find out my luck on elite badges have been pretty good also. So there you have it people. Look at this card. I mean, he has 84 speed compared to Johnson. He's faster. Johnson is stronger. Um, and has power moves and block shedding but this cameron wake his finesse is a 94 his speed is a 84 so his acceleration is a 95 so getting to that outside edge with a finesse move is going to be really good for this card i have not had a chance to try it yet if you have tried this card already let me know in the comment section below let me know how you like it um but looking at the stats it's going to be one of those cards that would be pretty good at getting after the quarterback, you know, those third and longs for those people that like to drop back 50 yards to throw a five yard slant. So looking at the rest of his stats here, he's well above average on a few um, things like acceleration, speed, awareness, which is uh, pretty good for a defensive end. Tackling is good. His jumping. Um, I don't see where, I guess, you know, trying to knock down passes at the line of scrimmage. I really haven't seen that happen a lot in Madden, but it'll be pretty good if you can start seeing Lyman jump. So here's the rest of his, you know, his stats. He's a 94 at finesse move, as I stated earlier. Pursuit a 94. So overall, this guy and his hit power is at an 87, which is above average. So hitting it outside edge with that finesse move, that speed, that acceleration, and getting to that quarterback, and you have the hit power with this card to potentially knock the ball out from the quarterback. So overall, a great pass rushing card. I'm, I'm gonna have to compare him maybe to another one of my good pass rushing cards. Um, I think comparing him to Johnson was not a fair match because Johnson is more of a I think maybe a run stopper where Wake is more of a pass rusher. So third down, Wake might be that man. So back looking at this pack, what I'm doing now is I'm going through it, trying to get rid of some of these cards because 1,200 is the max. And I've been reaching that a lot. So trying to add cards to sets as I go. And when I was doing this live calm, I was pretty freaking amped because then I pulled this Bennett. I'm like, okay, okay, pulled a Bennett 81 overall. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this Bennett, uh, I'm pretty sure some Seahawks fans out there would really like to maybe have this Bennett. Uh, he's part of two sets. I'm pretty sure it's the gold and the elite. So I'm not going to add him to the sets, but just showing you all his stats. 91 on tackling, 91, I mean 90 on power uh, move. So a decent middle linebacker card, he would not be able to start 
um, because of the guy that I have already that's starting. But overall, he is a decent middle linebacker. Um, let me know in the comment section also, who is your best middle linebacker that you have right now? And um, do you like them or is there any other middle linebackers that you're trying to get? Because they just released that Ray Lewis and I've seen the stats on them. And trying to get that Ray Lewis, you have to do the collection and it's going to be kind of tough. And I haven't really seen one on the auction block to give you all a price. But let's keep this pack going people and opening up this next pack and i started off with a browns stadium and there you have it baby cj mosley your boy jay pulled a freaking football outsiders card cj mosley and i was pretty freaking excited i'm not as excited as i was earlier and i could fake it like yo what up son i just pulled a cj mosley or fake it like i was doing a live gum which i wasn't but there you have it I did a 10 pack opening with coins, roughly about 75,000. And I think I've made my money back, either selling Wake or selling this Mosley. Now this Mosley middle linebacker card cannot start on my team because I like Mayo. Mayo's a pretty decent middle linebacker. He does the job for me right now. I do have a lot of other middle linebackers that are pretty decent also. Um, as you can see though, in comparison to Mayo, Mosley is pretty decent. What Mosley has, Mayo does not have. What Mayo has, Mosley does not have. So <laughs> it flips flops. Um, but the only notable thing that I could see that was the major difference between them was maybe the awareness. And Mayo has you know, that 86 in awareness, which is pretty good for a middle linebacker being able to understand the plays maybe getting some interceptions dropping back in the zones so overall i like the mosley card i probably won't keep him because he's not part of a set and he won't be able to start and i think i'm done i think it was a zone d i think i'm done with the zone d style uh solo challenges so i might go ahead and sell this card and see what he's going for on an auction block Anyway, people, go ahead and take a look at his stats. As you can see, he's above average in a lot of his um, stats. He's 86 jumping, which could be good. Trying to get that interception going across the middle. But other than that, I think this is a pretty decent video. I'm so hard to say. Pull a freaking elite and a football outsider in a 10-pack video. That is pretty freaking good to me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like those cards, let me know in the comment section below. Also, please leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. But until the next one, people, it's your boy Jay and I'm out.